Welcome to a new daily top ask credit video. Today's topic. How would you feel about a ban of how would you feel questions on the sub? Remember these obnoxious questions that were really just veiled attempts to tell stories for karma. Reddit did you ever have a time when X, Y, Z happened? I'll go first. It was a breath of fresh air when those got banned. Or it would be a question aimed at like special ops of the US Army and it would have 10 Kelvin people answer. Not special ops, but know the guy who killed Bin Laden. Per second. Right now, I'd support the ban. There's too many questions that have an obvious answer like how would you feel if we could treat all diseases and everyone gets a million dollars in their local currency. It's always something super agreeable. Perhaps all the controversial questions like how would you feel if cancer patients battled it out as gladiators and the losers' bodies get used for scientific research, and you have to pay like way more in taxes to make it happen. Get downvoted into oblivion. Along with all the stupid people of Reddit, would you suffer for one week in return for 200 gazillion dollars? Utterly pointless questions obviously intended to farm karma. Edit, holy cow, guess I am not the only one this annoys. Reddit, would you suffer not talking to anyone for one week, but in return get $1 trillion in cash without question, stock in Apple, Amazon, Microsoft, and Disney with a seat in the writer's table for the next Star Wars movie, and a trip to the moon and back through SpaceX along with Elon Musk. You guys are getting paid. Hadio. Does talking mean speaking or texting? How about sign language? Sign me up. I'll just lay in bed all week. Here is a list of reasons why this would go south. Can I talk to my cat? A very long and thought out plan of how someone would do this in an attempt to get gold and second highest comment. How would you feel about, insert popular opinion? Yay I agree with, popular opinion. What a constructive thread. 5 awards and 160 Kelvin upvotees for that. I think I just lost a little more faith in humanity. Most voted post of all time in the sub ace will. Somebody just got a sheetload of awards and karma for commenting it might just be me, but I really respect farmers. I mean way to take a stance there bud. It ain't much. I would feel pretty good. Yay. Yay. I'd feel great about it, if we also banned all the variants of girls forward slash guys of reddit, what can I do forward slash say forward slash act forward slash change forward slash think to increase forward slash decrease my odds of having sex with you masquerading under 40 different permutations. I feel like most of the sexual ones are getting more frequent and worse. Like at least half of them are probably just horny teens trying to get their fix from hearing other people's stories which are probably fake stories of fellow teens who are getting off by writing a fake story. I'm hoping after the holiday break it gets better or I am going to leave this subreddit. I think it's more that the sex related ones get upvoted by orders of magnitude more than the others, to the point where if you ever see an ask reddit post on the front page, it's usually a sex related one. But yeah, reading through the replies on those, it's obviously mostly horny teens writing semi-fiction for other horny teens. Just in terms of some of their underlying assumptions about what's normal in that regard. I don't know, how would you feel about it? Is this a therapy session? I don't know, how would you feel about it if it was a therapy session? I would feel the irony. Op, if they get banned, would you take the fall and allow yourself to be banned from the sub so that the rest of us may be without these questions? Do it. Make the unbreakable vow. I usually just downvote questions I don't like. People really beat the dead horse with this one, but a good question starts with how would you feel every so often? Every so often. That's the real problem. It's not the how would you feel questions that piss people off, it's the same questions being reposted every 6 to 10 weeks. If the sub moderators added a common repost option to the list of report reasons, and actually acted on legit reports, this problem would solve itself. I might be downvotes to oblivion, but it would be nice if they did get reposted every year or two or five. I like seeing ideas change and pop culture change. I would feel very good. <laughs> How would you feel if Danny DeVito and Keo Reeves gave you $100 million but you had to be their best friend for life x d d d d d d? Edit, thanks for the gold, wow my biggest reddit post ever. This reminds me of that Gordon Ramsay and Bob Ross post I saw earlier today. Like damn, can you at least put some fucking effort into karma whoring? I can't believe that made it onto the front page. 
or we could make our forward slash how would I feel Abu and send all those questions over there. Our forward slash how would I feel. How can she slap? It already exists. Just that nobody has posted on the site in two years and the only post is an acknowledgement of the sub being created. I'd sooner embrace a ban on your username is underscore 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 questions. God, what do we get, 20 of them a day? The worst. The top comment is always anal underscore goat underscore puncher going um lolid and everyone jerking off about their name. Rimjob Steve am I right? Apathetic. These questions don't bother me nearly as much as the annoying as fuck hypothetical scenario forward slash writing prompts that are flooding the sub. Would you be mildly inconvenienced for 10 billion dollars? Worst one is the reddit circle jerk against social media would you give up on social media for a month for 10 b dollars? And it's just people acting like they are above all others because they couldn't care less. Would you go back 10 years with all your current knowledge? This is a unique question that has never been asked or thought of, ever. And I'll bet not a single respondent thought about Bitcoin or Apple stock, so I'll surely be hailed as a profit forward slash comedic genius for pointing out that knowing the future of speculative assets could be used for financial gain. On the other hand I'll also need to publicly signal devotion to my spouse and forward slash or child, Ren, by refusing to contemplate any hypothetical that might change the trajectory of my life that led to them. True, some of them literally sound like they belong on our forward slash retic prompts. Trust me, forward slash our forward slash retic prompts has seen all those prompts and written all their variations to death already. Can we please ban the your username is how you die or your username is now your superpower? All of the your username mess. Yes, my username is boring for all of these. You've become the very thing you've sworn to destroy. This is true but they also framed the question in a good way as to make the term fit appropriately in a question I would feel is good. I hate how so many questions here are just setups for the same shitty punchline told a million different ways. I think the last one I saw was asking if you'd go without sex for six years for a million dollars or something. You could guess the top replies without opening the thread. You guys are getting paid. Even worse are the stupid answers from people who think they're being clever. Can I masturbate still? What about using things to masturbate? Do oral and hand jobs count? Does anyone actually care? And they would all get screenshot and posted to either our forward slash suicide bywords or our forward slash ehave sex. Permabra everyone who asks. How would you feel if? Would you take a large sum of money for doing a trivial task like living w forward slash o internet for a month? What are the most legendary reddit posts? Girls forward slash dudes of reddit, what does the opposite sex do that they don't know is creepy forward slash hot? What if, popular reddit pandering opinion on politics here, was made mandatory? And every other question like that. It'd legitimately make ask reddit a decent sub again that doesn't get bobbed down by awful karma whores and bots. You forgot if you can go x years back in time with all the knowledge you currently have. So tired of seeing some version of this every 1 to 3 weeks with everyone in the comment section saying yes, like no shit who wouldn't. And the top answers are always the fucking same. I'd go back with the winning lottery numbers. I'd go back to tell my mother that she passed away from cancer and that if she goes to the doctor now, they can catch it early enough. I'd go back to meet Mr. Rogers. I'd go back and drop off math books and physics books in the middle ages. Great. All of the hypothetical questions are useless and no one is interested in what people answer. They try to think of the most impressive thing to say. Who knows how we would react or feel, or what we would do or say if it were actually happening in the moment. I'd like the option to block our credit and any other subs, not even see them unless we chose to. Oh there should be way more banned questions, of all sorts. Sexual sexes of Reddit, what's the sexiest sex you ever sexed? Women of Reddit, what can I do to be a hit with each and every woman that requires no effort or willpower from me? Women of Reddit, I'm too much of a coward to ask a girl out. Reassure me that my crush will eventually ask me out and that women do make the first move. Asking how would you feel to a bunch of strangers who tend to be more socially awkward, I'm with your guys 2DW, usually doesn't result in many interesting answers, so agree. Also the premises are usually so dumb. Our forward slash how would you feel feels abandoned, if all those posts moved there I'd be a happy man. 
those should be in a sub of their own, maybe our forward slash how would I al feel. I have just realized that is a sub exactly for that. So they should be banned and anyone who posts it should be directed there. I would love it. People used to ask questions with somewhat interesting answers. Hypothetical stupidity does not interest me which is all this has become. Would you be slightly inconvenienced if it took years off your life and you get a billion dollars? Also how would you spend it? Who fucking cares? No one can travel through time, in the way needed for these dumb questions to even happen, and no one is giving anyone a billion dollars. Hell I would be blown away to see someone get 10 grand randomly. I hate every person that posts one of these questions and I wish them a long drawn out death. Or the ridiculously complex scenarios. Every time you open your fridge a genie comes out and you must eat everything in your fridge at once or else you don't get a billion dollars. What do you fill your fridge with? Like what the fuck are these questions? Yeah I have no idea who actually wants these responses. Even worse there are sometimes 20 Kelvin responses. I must be missing something. It's a bunch of shitty writing prompts like those given to a middle school students in English class, 